flow. This is the circuit for negative feedback. You know what happens in negative feedback? The output signal gets through the beta network, becomes a feedback signal. That, bit, that feedback signal gets subtracted from the incoming VA signal. Then it becomes the negative feedback. And you know there is a long list of application of negative feedback as compared to positive. VS is coming. Amplifier is A. If it is common emitter configuration, it gives a phase shift of 180 degree to the voltage signal. So, output signal get passes to the beta network becomes beta V out. It is the feedback signal and it gets subtracted from the VS becomes the input signal to the amplifier. So we are writing the gain A of the amplifier as V0 upon VI. This is just amplifier gain. V0 is A times VI. You know well, VI is what? It is Vs minus beta V out. So substituting Vi in this expression, V0 becomes A, Vs minus beta V out. Now just open the bracket on the right hand side, A Vs minus A beta V0. Now just taken the A beta V0 to the left hand side. V0 plus A beta V0 is equals to AVS. Now V0 is taken as common from the left hand side. This is 1 plus A beta V0 equals to A into VS. From here we find the ratio V0 over VS is equals to A over 1 plus A beta. Now V0 over Vs is the gain of the whole system of negative feedback. So this is called AF feedback gain of the whole system. A over 1 plus A beta. So this is the expression for negative feedback. AF equals to A upon 1 plus A beta. Okay. This is the circuit for positive feedback. You know, the amplifier, the output voltage, the output voltage coming back and get through beta network and then it becomes a proportion which is equals to beta into V out. It is called a feedback signal. The input signal is, the coming signal is Vs. If positive feedback, the two signals are added. And after addition, it becomes equals to Vi. So this is positive feedback. The signal voltage and feedback voltage are added up. So, we are writing the expressions. We are writing the expressions. First of all, the gain of the amplifier is A. This is output voltage upon the input voltage. Input to amplifier is Vi. This to remember. Because uh, amplifier gain is just output upon the input to amplifier. The V0 becomes a times Vi. Now substituting the value of Vi, we know Vi equals to Vs plus beta, Vs plus beta V out. So this is Vi 
substituting VI now in this expression the V out becomes V out becomes E into Vs plus beta V O V O mean V out now open the bracket E into Vs plus A beta V out Now taken this A beta V out to the left hand side so this becomes negative so V naught minus A beta V naught is equals to A into Vs now from left hand side V naught is taken as common so V naught bracket 1 minus A beta is equals to A into Vs. Now we are interested for calculating V out upon Vs. Because V out is the output signal, Vs is the input signal to the whole system. So it becomes A upon 1 minus A beta. So V naught upon Vs is the gain of the whole system. So it is called feedback gain of the whole system. For positive feedback, it is A upon 1 minus A beta. So this is very important. For positive feedback, remember, Feedback gain is A upon 1 minus A beta. Thank you. Hello. Negative feedback amplifier having a number of list of applications. It improves the gain stability, reduces, reduces the distortion of or noise in the output signal, decreases the output impedance, increases the input impedance increases the bandwidth and due to the low noise and distortion and increased bandwidth the negative voltage feedback is always used sometimes for perfect matching negative current feedback is used at the output stage you know, emitter valve circuit is mostly used in the electronic instruments because they are having high A impedance and uh, input impedance and output impedance low. Shunt feedback connection decreases the input impedance. This is important. Voltage feedback circuit generally decreases the output impedance. Current feedback circuit increases the output impedance. The series voltage feedback are used in negative feedback. So this is in a table. The AF equals to A over 1 minus A beta. A is fixed, beta is varying. AF is calculated feedback gain. You calculate feedback gain for different value of beta. Now this is the Brachusen criteria. Brachusen criteria, which tells that the positive feedback input signal amplifier amplifier give a phase reversal of 180. Beta network it again gives a phase reversal of 180. Total becomes 360. The signal becomes in phase. Brachusen criteria demands the magnitude of A beta should be 1 and there should be positive feedback only the two points so if Brachusen criteria mean magnitude of A beta is equals to 1 gain becomes feedback gain becomes infinity 
and uh, there is a positive feedback the oscillations it, it becomes oscillator the negative feedback no positive feedback circuits with a beta equals to 1 it becomes an oscillator this is a positive feedback ef equals to a over 1 minus a beta so if a beta magnitude is greater than 1 the oscillation starts and uh, the increasing oscillation of increasing amplitude if magnitude of a beta is greater than 1 then as well as the positive feedback AF equals to A over 1 minus A beta. If magnitude of A beta is less than 1, the oscillations die out. Then the decreasing amplitude is again the case of positive feedback AF equals to A over 1 minus A beta.